Welcome back, guys. This is lesson number four. If you want to jump into the code with me, just simply right click this commit, check out this commit, and you'll be good to go. All right, so what we, where we stopped last time is that now we have a task card component, and we are using that to map over a specific sublist of that task card, which has only the work in progress status, and we are displaying them on the work in progress side. So far, so good. In this lesson, we actually want to start by implementing the use drag hook to make sure that these tasks are actually draggable. And to do that, the first thing actually we need to do is actually install React DND and the back end for it. So to do that, simply run npm install React DND and also the, um, the back end for it, which is React DND HTML5 back end. Okay, that's it. You run that and uh, it will run for a while and you're good to go. I've already done that before, so I will simply run npm run dev. Alrighty, so now we have our server running on localhost. I'm gonna shut this guy down. And the first thing we need to do is actually start using the monitor. Remember when I call when I talked about the monitor? So we need to use actually uh, React DND in our app. And the way I do this, as I explained before, because this is a Next.js app, I'm running on underscore app TSX, which is wrapping everything in my app. So what I will do here is I will simply wrap everything here with a component called DND provider. DND provider. And yep, just finish it up right there. And that component has to wrap around everything in my app. So far, so good. Of course, I don't have that imported. So, okay, and you can't even import it on your own. So I have to import it manually. So simple, let me, let me import DND provider from React-DND, happy days. And let's also import the backend. So let's import, import backend from Let's import backend from React dash DND dash HTML5 backend. And let's pass that here as well. So we pass in the backend that we want to use here is going to be backend, which we just imported from the HTML5 backend. Okay, so that's good. So now we have this wrapper that wraps around everything and is giving me the ability to drag and drop stuff. Good, that is out of the way. The next step now is actually to turn our task card into a draggable component. And before we do that, the first thing we need to do is actually establish a source of truth. And to do that source of truth, I need to make an item types car, an item types file. And for that, I have already made here a folder core utils. So that is going to be a folder uh, outside of everything. So inside that utils folder, I will make a file called item types.ts. Alrighty, and inside this item types.ts, what I will do here is I will simply just write a very, very simple, a very, very simple um, object. And inside that object, we will have something called card, and card refers to card. Simple stuff. And what I will do here is export default, export default item types export default item types. So I'm now exporting the default of item types. And um, we can now start actually writing the use drag hook as we explained it before. So let me just uh, make this smaller. And inside here, what I will do is I will start writing that React hook. So remember what I said before, we get two things from the use drag hook. The first thing is an object that has your props. I'm going to leave this kind of empty now with a placeholder. And we have also the, um, the, the ref that we are going to use to attach to our DOM element that we want to implement the dragging with. There's no need for this to be capital. Yep, just keep it drag. Okay, good. And this is going to be equal to use drag, actually. So this is going to be equal to the hook itself. So use drag. All right, and that use drag hook will take up uh, an initial value of one thing is going to be item. Oopsie, so that has to define what kind of item is this draggable item. So the type here, and I said before, this is a must have. So type here is going to be item types dot, and it's already being automatically imported, which is awesome. So item types dot card. And now we define that type to be a card type. And uh, that's, that's basically it for now. Let's just stop here. 
so this will actually make it work. Let me just uh, remove this from here. Actually, it's just, just pass in an empty object there, and we should be able to see something here. So this is an error here because I am not really getting anything. So let me just say that this is a random prop that we will get. Again, there is an error. Yes, and the error here is because we are not really using any collecting functions. So you can't do this without using collecting functions, I believe. So for this, we have to have a collecting function here. And the collecting function is a function that is going to use the monitor, which is coming from the provider that we have just passed on briefly. And that monitor is going to return an object. This object is going to give us props based on values inside the monitor. So in this case, I'm adding a prop called is dragging. And this will be true if there is a truthy of monitor of monitor dot is dragging is dragging of monitor dot is, dra is dragging. And this is the prop that we can add to our uh, component here by passing it into there. So we have drag and we have is dragging here. Good. Now, if you try to drag this now, really nothing happens. And the reason for that this nothing happens is that we have really not used this drag graph at all. So let's attach that to a DOM element here to tell React which React uh, which DOM element is actually going to be draggable. Once you do that, you can actually start dragging stuff. So you can start dragging stuff. But I want to make things a little bit more interesting by making sure that is dragging is being used. So what I will do here is I'm going to say that the opacity of this DOM element is going to depend on is dragging. So if is dragging is true, it's going to be 0.5, and if it's not, it's going to be 1. So what happens here is that when I start dragging, uh, the prop called is dragging is going to be true. And once that prop is going to be true, React has to render that base card as an opacity of 0.5. And you can see that's why I like using uh, Chakra UI because doing this right here is really really simple. Okay, beautiful. So now we have task cards that are actually draggable, which is really really cool, and we can drag it, but we can't drop it anywhere, which is all right for now. If you if you haven't noticed, we have a very small error here, and that error is basically saying, "Hey, you didn't tell ESLint that you will actually be importing TS files." And uh, to fix this, we can simply go to ESLint here. You can see here, these are the things that I kind of told them that the import resolver can use, .js, .jsx, .view, and .dsx. This is um, the setup for most of my projects. So let's just make sure that we add .ts there, and the error will fly away. Good. So right now, what we have is three task lists uh, three tasks here on work in progress tasks, and they are actually draggable, which is really, really, really cool. So in the next lesson, we will go into making sure that we have a drop target and we can drag this um, task and drop it on the drop target and see it move there. I'll see you guys in the next one.